Lisa. that you are right now you guys are all fried unless you are not fried and if so you will be fried in a very uh, soon soon moment I know we have a birthday in the house happy birthday I don't know if it was like an underground birthday um, we are taking tips for us and also when you tip us you can also tip him uh, in the back the birthday boy we will do a 50 50 with him I know that's not really how a 50-50 works, but we'll just split it 50-50. Just like business partners. It's like, you had the birthday tonight, I had the comedy show, now we have an LLC. <laughs> Did you guys know there was comedy tonight? No, we didn't. No? Well, now you're in for a treat. We have some like very, very good comics. Like, I'm, I'm ass. But, like, these other comics are super funny, so, like, stay around for them. I just, uh, I'm, like, the, you know the little filter? Like, I hold the place until, like, they come up. Right, right. right. That's what I am. I'm the, uh, filter on your joint. Um, I also, maybe in your mouth, depending on who you are. Um, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. It's a great day to be alive. You're at, uh, the Disney World of weed right now. Um... Somewhere there's a lawyer for Disney trying to sue me that I just said the word weed with Disney in the same sentence. No, it's, it's going to be soon enough that there's like a CBD princess, right? That's just like getting high uh, on the back of like a pirate ship or something. I don't know. Disney has to get with the times. I, uh, I'm getting with the times. I'm a vegan. Thank you. Um, I didn't do it for your applause. I did it for my intestines. Uh, they were having some issues. Um, I'm trying, trying to eat really healthy. I've been eating a lot of tofu. And like, the great thing about it, I discovered the other day that my brand of tofu is actually recyclable. Yeah, it's fantastic. Like I take it out of the container and it has the recycling symbol on it. I make myself a nice tofu scramble. I eat it. Let it go through me, I eat it again. That's what vegan cooking is. It's natural. It's the, the cycle of life. Do you guys eat mushrooms? Yeah. No, yes, some people eat mushrooms. I like mushrooms because that's like the only free food left in America. You know, there's no food that you can pick up off the side of the road anymore. Everything else you're stealing They'll put a fence around an apple tree if it's like out of place off somebody's property. But uh, here is nice because you have weed plants. Um, soon enough they're going to have uh, some tour groups coming through and you get to pick your own weed. You get to walk away uh, with your little basket and everybody goes to brunch afterwards. It's really nice the plants they have for here. You wear your sundresses and stuff. I know you guys in the back have good sundresses. Um, did you guys uh, did you guys see in the sky? Uh, there's more people in space right now. There's supposed to be people right in space right now. Like you guys are outside under the sky while there's people like going up. How cool is that? You know. There's an opportunity for. Uh, for us to watch a spaceship go around the planet. I don't know, that's never happened during one of my shows. I've never had to like, keep people in space from like, pirating my stand-up I'm doing. They're just gonna be watching up there, flying over. It's like, no, pay the five dollars. You have to buy a blunt. Come on. Uh, is it your first time at the joint? Oh my gosh, your anniversary on a hump day. Whoa, that's amazing. That is really, really a special time. Um, 
I'm getting some kind mouth right now, but like, as the host of this show, I have to be ready for that, you know? Like, I'm a Navy SEAL. I have to be able to wet my mouth, even if I'm going through cotton mouth. I'm not allowed to have water, because uh, if I'm really a stoner, I would forget the water, you know? I'll just get it when I get off. I also have a joint that I like hold over my head like a dangling carrot for uh, when I'm done with the show. It's like, all right, I did, I did my five minutes. Now, now I get to smoke it. Honestly, like if the show gets big enough, I'm gonna hire somebody to like literally like hold it like it's like the water in like a cage. I would legit sit in a cage if somebody just like let me smoke weed out the side of it, like it was like a little straw of water. Um, that's kind of what I'm doing for you guys tonight. I do get paid in weed. Uh, this is a really wonderful evening. Um, what was that reaction back there? We had, we had some controversy. <laughs> Green crack. It's definitely, definitely not green cocaine right now. It's a little bit, a little bit harder. For the people at home, um, you're missing out. We have green crack, we have green cocaine. Um, we're going, we're going green out here tonight. Um, we're also recycling our weed. Everybody here has been COVID tested 17 times and everybody has taken six vaccines. So we are breathing our weed into each other's mouths to conserve. We're just recycling it. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm trying, lighten up, lighten up. I'm not gonna blow into your mouth tonight. It's not happening. <laughs> um, I don't know, if you guys get me high enough, I might like suck down some of these fumes just to see what it tastes like. You look uh, like you are I, I thought being in a backyard there would be ventilation, but this is like a hot air balloon. It's just like keeping me going up higher and higher. Uh, soon enough I'll be passed out on the floor. Uh, the other comedians will have to carry me out um, on a stretcher. Uh, damn, that would suck if there, if there was just a stoner stretcher. Oh my gosh, who, who's the person who has to actually lift the person? That sucks. They're definitely the person who smoked the least weed, I guess. Or the people who needs a joint. And they're like, hey, if I carry this guy out, you have to give me a joint. I don't know, we're in a bartering economy here. Uh, right now I'm giving you guys at home some laughs and you guys are giving me a, a couple of views for a couple of seconds and then you're, you're dipping off. But I see you out there, you people at home too. Um, but we're here at Weed Man's Joint, which is my home. Uh, it's some people's home here. Uh, this next comic coming to the stage, he's actually been here a lot of times. He's like at least been a trilogy here. He might be a Star Wars franchise at this point uh, with how much he's been here. Um, so if you like him tonight, uh, tip him immediately and then maybe he'll like pick it out like before he goes out. Um, the tip jar is right here. Tip your butt tenders. Buy some butt inside if you haven't already. Um, so all the camera work set up. All right, DIY production coming to the stage. This guy is a legend. Uh, I've only seen him a couple of times, but he's very funny. He's been on TV a bunch of times. Give it up for Ty Rainey, everybody. Thank you. There. Thank you. Keep it going for Jay Freeze, man. Jay Freeze. Mr. Free been there. I've only been here twice. This is my second time. I'm all excited when I came in. I was amped as shit when I came in, right? I was like, I was coked up. So I'm just, I'm just married. I'm just happy to get the fuck out the house, man. With a kid, I'm just happy as shit to see people. How you guys doing tonight? Good. We're out here smoking under the tent. You know what I mean? This looked like some old secret, like, hedonism shit going on. We got these torches and stuff. Shit, we gotta take, somebody take a picture with a timestamp, put it on my page so my wife know ain't no naked shit happening in here. This is, this would be the, the last motherfucking vi uh, visit back this motherfucker. I'm happy to be here, man. I'm happy to be here. The weather is fucking changing. 
I can't wait because I'm tired of these motherfucking mosquitoes. I'm sorry, right, sis? Right. Shit. It's too much shit. I'm going to get back to something real quick before I go any further. Jay Freeze, you almost lost a black crowd talking about crack and all that shit. Motherfuckers about to get the fuck up. I was sitting over there laughing my ass off. I was like, God damn, we about to lose the crowd, nigga. We about to lose them. He said, we have a green crack. I said, damn, we about to lose them. Some shit we just don't fuck with. Crack is fucking whack, man. I grew up with relatives on crack. Crack's fucking whack. Niggas do some crazy shit on fucking crack. Like, you know, anything, like, marijuana is cool. You know what I mean? Everybody says it's a gateway drug. That's cool. It's, it's, I'm going to stay at the gate. That's where I'll be. Right at the gate looking over at the crack and the coke, all that crazy shit. Because I'm going to tell you something. You, when you on coke, that's a different level. You know what I mean? When you're smoking that stuff. Back in the 80s and 90s, like, I'm a, I am grew up in I'm an 80s baby. You know what I mean? Shag carpet, lead paint, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Old school. You know what I mean? I had a, my father, God bless his soul, he's still living, had a coke problem. He smoked coke. That shit preserved his fucking body from the 80s. This nigga is like unstoppable. This guy is like the new black Iron Man. Ain't no stopping this motherfucker. He was into martial arts and boxing and shit. He's like a fucking stick, but he's fucking strong as shit. He won't die. <laughs> this nigga won't fucking die, man. This is the new energizer. I'm telling you, man. And you know what's so crazy? Like, when you round shit like that, you normalize that wacky fucking behavior. Everybody know they got an aunt or a sister or a cousin or somebody on some shit. They do some wacky shit. You just like, ah, that's some whatever stuff. But somebody on the outside be like, what's going on with your pops? Like, you know what I'm saying? Chris, I'm gonna tell you this, man. First time my wife met my father, this is before she was my wife. We were dating, right? So me and my father, he was living downtown North. North New Jersey, right? This shit taking pictures and everything. This was living downtown North. Came down there on the wrong motherfucking night. You know when you find that you're there on the wrong goddamn night? You know, you be like, goddamn, not tonight. This motherfucker's high as shit. But it was cool because he knows how to manage it. He's an OG. You know what I'm saying? So what he's doing is just in his OG shit. He's talking to her. My aunt is here and shit as a buffer. She's sober. My aunt's sober like, oh, God, okay. My girl's meeting him for the first time. My father's talking to him with her eyes closed. He's like, so where you from? Mm, Irvington? And then starts breaking out and doing full calisthenics and stretching and shit right there in the middle of the living room while we're having a conversation about family and catching up. I kid you fucking not. Got on the floor, started stretching his legs and shit, still carrying the whole conversation. I said, what the fuck's going on here? I had to show so much discipline and treat it normal. I got on the floor next to him, started stretching too. I said, yeah, you know what, Pop? My back was a little tight too. I see what you mean. That's why I'm getting on the floor with you. Sometimes you got to do what you got to fucking do. You got to help him. That's it. Thank you, man. This motherfucker. That, is that for me? Shit, make it specific. Is that for me? Is this really shit for me? You tip me? It's $2, so you can split it with this. Split it? Get <laughs> the fuck out of it. Split it. Nigga, I sent my son to private school. We ain't splitting shit. <laughs> you know how expensive private school is? Yo, for real. And he don't skip a day. Like, they, they think, fuck your holidays. He was working on Labor Day. I said, God damn. <laughs> then I said, you know what, the amount I'm paying, you should be going on motherfucking Labor Day. Matter of fact, how about a half day on Christmas? I'll drop your motherfucking ass off. You can look at these toys later or whatever the fuck you get in. That private school is expensive as shit. Oh, man. Um, my name is Ty Rainey. I'm originally from Montclair. I just recently moved down here. I, moved, I, lived, over, um, I live over in Hamilton. And... Um, you know, I'm an hour south from where I was at, but um, like I said, I was only child growing up. Anybody grow up an only child in here? Anybody? See how lonely that shit is? Look, see? Niggas like, what the fuck? By yourself? See? Nigga didn't even want to say nothing at first. See, man? Only child, brother. Hey, we here, nigga. You got a friend, motherfucker. Shit. Finally. You know what I mean? One. We were the chosen one. Our parents said, that's it. Fuck it. That's, I'm done. My mama felt that labor pain. She said, uh-uh, we ain't doing this again. See, same amount of hours. What? You see? This nigga Let me find out. Listen, motherfucker, pen pal, find this nigga on Facebook. Hey, man, 18 hours? Listen, man. Only child being, the only child's cool, man. I grew up a lot of games, man. Games like Connect Four, Hungry Hungry Hippo, all the shit take two or more people to play. 
Battleship. Who the fuck buys an only child Battleship? Why are you, why are you buying me a two-player game and playing by myself with this shit? And I had bunk beds. Who buys an only child bunk beds? What kind of torture shit is this? My mother couldn't pass that sale up. She said, how much? For both beds? Give me that motherfucker. I'm getting in trouble and shit, sleeping on the bottom bunk and the top bunk. She's like, you better pick a goddamn bunk. I'm washing all these sheets. Washing all these goddamn sheets. Oh, man. I found that I'm older now. I like to do, I like things in a certain order. You know what I'm saying? I'm 45, man. Just turned 45 this year. Man. Thank you, man. Thank you for clapping. Black don't crack, but that hairline moved back, nigga. You see this shit? This shit, the moon walked on Bay C. You got to Okay, I feel you, brother. Yeah. But you probably got a nice round head. I got a, a head like a vitamin, nigga. This shit is not... This is not something. This shit is like a two-liter soda. My wife said, do not cut your hair. I don't give a fuck what your hairline look like. I see the shape of your damn head. It's like a kidney bean or something. It ain't right. But I like things in a certain order. I like when people say things in a certain order. You know, like certain sayings. Like, you ever heard that saying, um, point blank, period? No? Anybody heard that shit? See, black people, that's a black people shit. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. You heard that? Black? See, you heard it? She hasn't heard that. Point blank, period. You heard of that shit. When somebody trying to curse you out, I'm like, that's what I'm saying. Point blank, period. They better not come the fuck over here. It's never period point blank, is it? It's just at the end. Shit drives me fucking, it don't even sound right. Period point blank. That sound like you about to start some shit. It's too much. Certain things have a certain order to them. And I like that in my life. I used to go to this Chinese food spot up in Montclair. Miss Ling and I got real cool. Golden Walk. You probably have one in Trenton. I don't think it's a chain, but it's just a coincidence. But I used to go in there all the time, get some chicken and wings and some rice and shit and some fucking fries. You know, wings and fries, bruh. And she used to always ask me, Sup, pepper ketchup? I'm like, nah, I'm good, thank you, I'm all right. Every fucking time, that's, that's standard, right? Salt, pepper, ketchup, in that order. Uh -huh. Salt, pepper, ketchup. Every fucking time I go in there, hey, what's up, Ling? Oh, Ty, how you doing? You want salt, pepper, ketchup? I'm like, nah, I'm good, I'm good. Every fucking time, salt, pepper, ketchup. It's like, a, it's like a rhythm to it. But one night I came in here and she must have been throwing off with something. Somebody must have been arguing in the back. There was flames. The wax and shit was on fire. And there was alarms and shit going off. And I was like, oh, all right, Lynn, you got my order? She's like, yeah, you want pepper ketchup salt? I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I don't want all that shit in my bag. Give me some salt pepper ketchup. Uh -huh. Carrying all this shit. This is nice with the weed plants and shit. I love that shit. I would love to grow that around my yard. My son would have so many fucking questions. He's 15 years old though, man. Yeah, you see, he don't have questions my ass. He know what the fuck is going on. You know what that means, 15 years old, right? This means two niggas jerking off in the house now. That shit is fucking ridiculous. Shit don't make no goddamn sense. He knows what the, he know what the fuck that is. I don't know, nowadays, these kids, I don't know if my son gonna get a high school diploma or a Fortnite degree. I don't know what the fuck. He online 24 seven. But sometimes he's making money. You know what I'm saying? It's linked to my PayPal. I get all these alerts and shit in the middle of the night. It looked like I'm selling ass. It'd be coming in like two in the morning, three to $50, $30. What the fuck is going on? I go in my, my son's room, like, what the fuck you doing? He's like, I just made a thumbnail for somebody. Ah. I was like, you charge twenty five dollars? Like hell yeah! I was like, nigga, move over. I'm gonna make the money. Your <laughs> mom was sleep. I'm making some money though. I'm, I'm proud of him. Back in the day, I was making some money. Thirteen years old, I was working too. This is so crazy how we can sit out here now and just have a nice smoke. Remember back in the day, getting weed, man. I don't know how old you are, man, but I'm back. I'm old school, man. We used to pack a car and go and get like a dub and shit, you know what I mean? Ride through the hood and get a fucking dub. Car be four deep in my mama's car. Be in my mama's fucking car on Avon Ave buying fucking weed. Everybody like, yo, I got five, I got ten, all right, you put all your money to fucking gather. And this is the 90s, this is when shit was fucking hot as shit. So it was like the hustle. 
So when you go down the block and they know your car, they start running down that car, it'd be like a bunch of motherfuckers running next to your car like this. They'd be running next to your car like this. They'd look like some shit out of belly. Like the little kids and shit was running next to fucking DMX and shit. They all in the window and stuff. You gotta roll the window down. Like, yo, get the fuck out of here. This is my man, yo. Watch out, man. Watch out, yo. I got the fat shit. Da, 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 da. You buy that shit, you go. Boom. That was, that was back then, right? That was the shit. That's how you used to cop your weed. It wasn't it wasn't cool and, and relaxed like this, you fucking nuts. You had to drive down the block, beat down, you can't go twice, nigga. Go once. Don't go down there twice. What the fuck? Oh, this nigga went twice. Oh, we about to get fucking robbed around this bitch. Oh, what? If you don't know the rules, you will get robbed. You ain't supposed to go around the block twice. If you don't see nobody, guess it ain't out there right now. Don't circle the block. What the fuck is wrong? So that was the experience. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that had a ski rack, you scared of their car in your rear view. You don't know if a ski rack or their police lights. You scared of shit driving. Because you in your mama car. Did all that shit in my mama's car. Toyota Camry. Yeah, that's the neighborhood fucking car. That's the blending car. That's the random shit. That's the random car. Green Toyota Camry. That's the random shit. I ride around that car with my mother all the time. One night we was riding to my aunt's crib. My mother cut through fucking North and goes down Avon at. Soon as she hits the corner, niggas run out to the street, to the car, start hitting the windows. Yo! I said, oh shit. My mother's driving like, oh my God, you know them? It's so many kids, you know these guys? I was like, ma, you driving too motherfucking slow down this block. You don't know the rules. Go. You don't want nothing. Go. God damn it. Look that shit out. Be smoking weed, boy. I remember, I mean, you ever get, listen, man. I remember I was baking cookies one time. It took me 45, like more, like two hours to bake cookies one night. I was dancing and shit, all excited and shit. My wife came in the room. She was like, oh shit, you making cookies? I was like, yeah. She's like, when you gonna put the oven on? I said, oh shit. <laughs> Whole hour went by. I was wondering what the fuck. I just had the light on, just looking at the cookies and shit. They was just laying on the sheet. I'm like, I'm high as fuck. Be so excited. He be excited. My cousin burnt his fucking hands up taking the cookie sheet out the oven without oven mitts. I said, what the fuck is wrong with you? He's like, I forgot. I was just so fucking. The motherfuckers look so goddamn good. Do some absent minded shit like that. Smoking weed is cool, but you do some weird shit, man. I remember one time leaving my friend's house, it was pouring rain, I hopped in the car, I sat there, I tried to turn the rain down with the fucking volume button, it was so fucking loud, it just is like, I couldn't pull off yet, I was like, this shit, dog, this shit is fucking crazy, it's killing me. It's still a lot of wacky shit smoking weed. I remember having a crew back in the day, little little rap crew, I was a hype man. Everybody had like a little crew back in the day, little rappers and shit like that. My boy was a producer, he used to make the beats, we had two MCs and stuff, and I was the hype man. You know what I mean? I was like the personality dude, get the crowd warmed up. And I remember we used to go on these auditions, and I used to hate these fucking auditions. We was young, in our 20s, and like everything we did, we did it high as shit, right? Be high out your fucking mind. And I remember going to these auditions and you'd walk into these rooms and it'd be like a studio. It'd be bright ass fucking lights. It'd be like 18 people in there. There's everybody that's auditioning for it. And you this high like it's a concert. Like this is your debut fucking concert. And I'm sitting there and I'm sitting there and they're like, listen, y'all gonna go and perform. And they're trying to get the hype man to audition. Does the hype man have to audition for the fucking show? Because I don't really know all the words to the songs. I just know certain words to the songs. Is that a hype man's job? To know all the words? No? That's a sad fucking hype man. <laughs> I didn't give a fuck. I didn't want to do it. Because the hype man, like, I'm up there looking goofy and shit doing an audition. Why the fuck do I have to audition for this shit? If the rappers ain't hot, then these niggas can't, I can't come either. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they ain't hot, I'm not going to make them hotter. 
You know what I'm saying? So why does the hype man, I used to have this argument with the crew. Every time we go to audition, I was like, I don't want to audition because I'm just the hype man. They're like, yo, you got to get him, you got to get him into it. You got to get him into it. I was like, it's an audition. It's not the show. So I'm over there with the audition. I go out there, hey, how's everybody doing tonight? It's 3.30 in the afternoon, and it's in a little studio, bright as fuck, with mirrors everywhere, with two people on the table right in front of me with a tape player talking about, are you ready? I'm like, I guess so. They hit fucking play. Everybody's rapping. I'm just saying fucking words. Looking goofy as shit. I'm sorry. I, I think I fucked the joke up, but I'm going to keep going with it because this shit feels comfortable, I guess. I don't know. Either way, I'm out the goddamn house. I don't give a fuck what's going on. I think my son clogged the toilet before I left. I fucking said, fuck it. I'm not dealing with this shit. I hate a clogged fucking toilet. You ever deal with that shit? My wife poured some spaghetti shit in the toilet one time and tried to flush it because we was... Our kitchen's going through renovations. So she was trying to do some shit. And yeah, in the toilet. I said, what the fuck you put that shit in the toilet for? Yeah. She said, it will settle. I said, this is a fucking toilet, not an upset stomach. This shit is going fucking clog. You know what I mean? Then she said, it'll settle. I was like, this is a fucking toilet. This ain't no goddamn upset stuff. I can't rub the top and talk to it nice. Like, you're going to be good. I'm going to give you some ginger ale. Rub the pour some ginger ale on the top of the toilet tank. Let it settle. It's a bullshit. Anybody married here? Who's married here? Anybody? People ducking that shit like COVID. They're like, shit. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, sis. Okay. I condolences. All right. Damn. Let me fuck the mood up real quick. She said she ain't got nobody. Yeah. Oh. COVID fucking a lot of shit. There's a lot of COVID love out here. Don't get it twisted. Somebody went out here with a mask on, was up in some fucking sheets. I bet you, shit, I bet you made a lot of them stronger too somewhere else. Watch all these COVID kids come out. All these goofy ass COVID kids come out. Watch. You thought you had a problem now. You're going to have a big problem with these goofy-ass COVID kids come out. This shit going to be crazy. COVID sex, I'm telling you. People got antsy. When you was locked up for like a... If you were in the house for a year and you couldn't get no... Yo, you couldn't get no ass. You know what I'm saying, sir? If, you, if your woman wasn't right with you and she wasn't risking all that shit, you was like, damn, man, she living in an apartment. You like, I know these motherfuckers is trying to knock on the door. Talking about we quarantined together, girl. Ain't nobody left the building. Try to use it to their advantage. Your boy would live across town. Don't tell him what the fuck he getting into. You seen his Instagram? I followed that motherfucker. He was at the supermarket eight times this week. That motherfucker was trying to get that leverage. You know where I've been. Right across the hall. I offered you some fresh fruit. This motherfucker good girl. Yeah, you go get your girl's ass for fresh fruit. Watch. I'm telling you, man. That, that, I was locked up in quarantine, man. I was happy to get the fuck out the house. I was married, too, man. Shit was crazy. I was so tired of washing fucking dishes. It seemed like all we did was fucking eat all goddamn day. I was like, what, did we get hungrier now that we on fucking lockdown? I'm like, God damn. Every time I came into the, into the kitchen, there was a fucking dish in the sink. I wanted to slap shit out of my son. I was like, you gonna get over here busting suds. We stayed busting suds. His hand looked like raisins all summer. I was like, you gonna stay in this motherfucker. I got tired of that shit. Doing all this goofy shit, wiping everything down with Lysol and shit, all this goofy shit. Everything smelling like Clorox and bleach in your house. We bleached the shit out. My wife was bleaching the shit out of everything. It was cleaning the motherfucker inside. I was like, yeah, but the place is dirty as outside, baby. Dirty. <laughs> Outside's fucked up. Inside, in here, is beautiful. It's... I gotta open the windows now because I'm dying from the fucking bleach. We do some backward shit. Anybody get the shot? No? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, man. They starting they starting to lock motherfuckers down with the with the shot. Can't get into certain spots, you know. Gotta do it. Times are changing, man. Mac you're hey, you hear Apple's coming out with a car? Apple is making a fucking electric car. You believe that shit, right? That's crazy. And they're not really taking that much input from other electric car, like, companies. Did you read that? It's like, they, they, they're like, now we got it from here. You see our phone? You see how we fucking do it? Over a billion served. Nigga, we do this shit. The fuck you talking about? We need help. Y'all need fucking help. I don't trust that shit. 
I don't want to be waiting anywhere for a fucking update in the fucking Mac at a, at a goddamn light. Because everything is so integrated now. You fuck around and have a warrant for your arrest. You try to start your fucking car. They're like, uh-uh-uh. You know you got a warrant for your arrest. Contact the police now. You're like, motherfucker, they locked the doors and shit. Like, ah, let me out this bitch. Uh-uh-uh. You know you got a warrant for your arrest. We're contacting the police now. Be like, what the fuck? You be stuck in the car, motherfuckers. Be like, get out the car, man. I can't even move this bitch. Why? Got a warrant for my arrest. So why? Start the shit. The car, man. The car told me I can't go nowhere. Car be like, oh, cops taking too long. Fuck it. I'm going to take you to the precinct. Car take you right to the fucking precinct. Run lights and everything with your ass in the car. Be like, taking me to the fucking you trying to negotiate with the car like his kid from Knight Rider. Come on, man, don't take me to the fucking shit. I got, I got you washed the other day and shit. Come on, man. Uh uh uh, you got a warrant for your arrest. We are fucked up. We got watches and shit. These phones are tracking us. We got everything at the, you know, technology is really crippling us, man. It really is. Everything is being tracked. The hustle's being tracked. Everybody got, like, I got some game I want to put you on. Let's form a group in fucking Clubhouse and talk about it. <laughs> and everybody's doing it. And I'm not knocking nobody's hustle, but I'm going to tell you one goddamn thing. If your paperwork ain't right, that shit's going to come back to get you. Because now they just talked about how the IRS is watching your funds even closely, even more so. They've been watching, but even more so. They're watching them new businesses that are popping up, people making that paper. They don't like that. You have to put your shit in the mattress. You can't put crypto in the mattress, can you? Right? Crypto's the loophole. That's the fucking loophole. You got to watch the signs. Try to put you up on game. Because this shit's going to get ugly. Let me tell you. When they start charging motherfuckers for porn, that's when it's going downhill. It's all free right now. You see what they did with that what? What was that site? The, um, the, uh, what is it? Uh, the OnlyFans? The OnlyFans? I mean, I'm just saying. You know, heard about the OnlyFans? OnlyFans? Everybody turn their head like they don't know about fucking OnlyFans. Ain't nothing wrong with the hustle, right? Yeah. They tried to lock that shit down. They tried to change that. People are getting paid off of ass. They don't want to see that. OnlyFans is like a site where you can pay to see naked people and people have sex and intercourse, play with themselves. It's for freaks. Or oh, fans only. Well, what the fuck? I don't watch the shit. I'm sorry. I'm trying to watch enough shit underneath the sheets in the dark. Let alone I got to pay for some shit. And my wife be even more. Hey, you paying for this bitch to fucking get naked, motherfucker? That's the argument right there. She don't even care if you're looking at naked shit. If you're paying for this shit, that's the argument. You're paying this bitch to watch her on the phone? That's the argument. Fucking up coffee budgets and shit. You know what I mean? You messing up brunch. You sitting in the private school. You watching titties on the phone for $3 an hour. What's wrong with you? That's the argument. That's when mugs get quiet. They're like, what's wrong with you and Tina? Ain't nothing, man. She fucking wild. Huh? See that paper trail. Well, listen, I'm up out of here. I want to thank everybody, man. Jay Freeze, come on up here, brother. Just... <laughs> Give it up for Ty Rainey, everybody! Wow, that was such a treat. Ty Rainey's married. I uh, quarantined with my girlfriend, so I'm basically married now. Um, she was actually out of town last week, uh, and it was pretty crazy. I was like, is this what divorce feels like? I was so depressed, and I was like, when does it end? And then now she's back. Um, yeah. Are you guys ready for uh, your next comic this evening? I feel like she's in the, uh, the mafia of Central Jersey. Uh, give it up for Lana Epstein. How we doing, guys? Okay, high as hell. Good. I used to I used to be a stoner, like a really, really, really big pothead, right? Hippie. Uh, this would have been so cool. Now I don't ever smoke weed. I just don't. I don't know. I'm tired and hungry already, so I'm like, I don't want to, like, pay for it. You know what I mean? This place is cool. 
Um, do they sell edibles here? Yeah. They do? Yeah. Oh, buckle up. I used to live in LA and uh, like before weed was like um, just like a normal thing, it was like still taboo. And my girlfriend and I, we went to Target and we split an edible in the parking lot. And we were like, a brownie, like 150 milligrams? That's probably not a lot. Let's just split it and have a good time. It wasn't a good time. It wasn't, it was scary. We had to like hold on to, uh, to like the ground to just like make it stop spinning. We took a lift home and we were like a mile away. The guy was like, okay, so just a right up here? We're like, we don't know. We don't know. Okay. Um, I'm glad that he, Jordan, he said my name right. A lot of the times people fuck it up. They call me Lana. It's not Lana, it's Lana. Sorry. You got it. What's your name? Uh, Francisco. Francisco? Yeah. Okay. That's like an easy name. You can't like fuck that up, you know? You just can't. You can't. You know, everybody calls me Lana and I fucking hate it. I hate it. I only played sports growing up so that they could call me by la my last name, right? Looking back now, last name Epstein and a kid's sports jersey, maybe not like the best. Maybe not like the best look, you know? I uh, I was there with Hannah Rosenfeld, me and her, and we just talk by the by the net. There's nothing else to do. We are not gonna play the game. And uh, one day she was like, you know, my name's a palindrome. And I was like, oh yeah, what is that? And she was like, it's like the same thing forwards and backwards, Hannah, Hannah. And I was like, oh my God, that's fucking awesome. And she's like, yes, your name a palindrome? And I was like, Lana. You guys are high, you gotta think about this one. Lana, you gotta spell it backwards. A-N-A-L. Oh! The married guy's like, oh, I haven't heard about that in years. Does that ever happen when you're married? Anal probably goes out the window, right? No, okay, yeah. I feel like for, for women, it's like once they get a ring, they're like, no more buttholes. Not for you, good. Who said that? So she's fun. Okay, she likes fun. Good. She's like, I don't know. What did I do? Uh, well, there you go. Okay. Good. Uh, I was in LA for for quarantine for the first like five months, and I was like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. This is terrible. I was living with a boyfriend at the time before like lockdown happened, right? And um, he he took me on a date. He was like, let's just do something you and me, just the two of us, something special. And I was like, okay, cool. And we went to Harry Potter World and I was like, oh, you're so white, <laughs> why? And uh, we went there and we're about to, the park's about to close and there are these two women by a cart selling wands to other adults. Right, and uh, he, he was like, do you, do you wanna go look at the wands? I was like, no, I don't, I can't. I can't do that, because I am an adult and I have bills to pay, so I can't. And he was like, let's just go see what they have. I'm like, oh, okay. So he goes up to these, these two women and he, in a voice that does not belong to him, says, what's your most evil wand? I was like, oh, who do we have here? A visitor. And these women, they're older than me. They were like, oh, well, that would be he who must not be named. And he was like, Voldemort? And I was like, my pussy is so, dr just, like, it, like, left my body. It was like, we're done here, girl. You're on your own. I was like, I need you. Yeah, he, he got the wand. $35 for that. And um, he, he gets it, and he points it to my boobs, and he says, Enlajo! What a dick. And then I, I took it back and I pointed it to his crotch and I said, Enlajo! Oh, it doesn't work. We got home and, and we were we were looking at the news and shit and they're like, lockdown is like starting and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, we gotta break up. I can't, you're done. It's not even a joke, it's just real. I'm just telling you about my life now at this point. <laughs> Uh, I had to quit my job as a nanny 
No. Yeah, it's true. I know it's sad. It's really sad. I only took the job because I was like, maybe this can be my ticket to like a better life. You know, like Jude Law's nanny totally like wrecked the whole thing, but like got really rich. I was like, I could, I could do that, right? Maybe, maybe I could do that. Um, the dad wanted nothing to do with me. Just like was so not interested. Just like so not even like entertaining the idea of like, ooh, like we have a nanny. That could be fun, right? He coded. He was like a smart nerd. I don't know. We'd be in the kitchen and I'd be like, Josh, do you need anything else? And he would just like walk like through me. He's like, nope. And I'm like, nothing, nothing at all. Okay, okay. I would try to impress him though. I'd be like, Josh, you know, I'm not just uh, a nanny. I also do comedy. So it's like your Uber driver being like, I'm not just an Uber driver. I'm also a DJ. It's like, ooh. Yeah, you got an ox cord. You are. You are a DJ. Cool. You look like you kill zombies. Do you get that a lot? No. Really? Oh my god. You have like a fucking look. That's cool. I look like I'm like, hi, I work at The Gap. And you're like, hi, I could like kill 45 zombies and like whatever. That's a Monday. What was the character of King? Uh... I don't know. I don't know anything about... The Walking Dead had a character that kept people kept saying that. You know, oh, really? The Walking Dead? Yes. Yeah. People tell me I look like Hillary yeah, Swank. Yeah, we live different lives. <laughs> just, just different. Uh, I like this. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I made a friend. There's one. Francisco, what do you think? Are we doing well? We're okay? Okay. Maybe like the three of us could like, I don't know, start a podcast. Oh, what am I talking about? <laughs> Trenton, I was born here. Brag. Right? Pretty cool. That was the last time I was in Trenton. I got here, I was like, oh fuck, like masks. That's a, a thing. I'm from the country. Like the there's like sheep there's fucking cows everywhere. There's hay bales. Like we like sit on them when we go outside. It's crazy. I I came in here, I was like, is COVID still like happening here? And they're like, Yes. And I'm like, I don't have a mask. I don't. I didn't the only thing I had in my car, they're still in my pocket, underwear. I brought this. I was like, maybe I could fashion something. Because I am, uh, you know, I am who I am. Classy. You can have those. <laughs> he was like, ew, no. They are. They were just in my car. You got to have some spares. <laughs> I am who I am. I used to be a truck driver. You used to be a truck, okay, a little bit about you. You used to be a truck driver? In the car. Whoa. So are you really good at peeing in bottles? You must have been. Uh, no? <laughs> Life on the road. All, all coast to coast truck drivers are. They are. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Did you ever pick up hitchhikers? No. You did? Yeah. You said no? You're saying? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. A couple times I did. There was a couple of ventures. Okay. <laughs> I can have a couple stories about this. Hitchh- Why aren't you up here? Truck driver. That's a scary job. I don't know if I could do it. I remember picking up one, and at the very next exit, kicking him out. Too. You kicked him out for only Back one three, exit. It was a female. Oh, was she trying to she fall in love with you? Flat out crazy. She, she was crazy. Yeah, I don't know why I picked her up. Cause she was hot, probably, right? But crazy. Well, aren't they all? No. What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Jay Freeze, talking about crack. I like how nervous everybody got. That was interesting to me. He was like, green crack, was, isn't that meth? Isn't that what we call, meth is blue, right? I don't know, what the, I saw Breaking Bad and I was like, I could sell drugs probably. <laughs> probably not, thank you, one laugh, it's okay. Okay, guys, how, how we feeling? I feel like I got up here, I think the mood dropped or maybe the edibles hit, I don't know. What do you think? She's holding up an empty bag. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> good. Good, good, good. I uh, I went to the Outer Banks a couple weeks ago. Have you guys ever been there? Why would you go? I don't know. I don't know. I went there, and um, the people I was with, they all were dog people. Do you guys like dogs? Do we care about dogs? Right? You have them. You like them. Holy shit. 
this group, they, they, they don't have kids, they have their dogs, and that's like the replacement for that, you know? And the way that they were talking to their dogs and about their dogs, I've never seen anything like it. They were narrating the things that their dogs were doing. Holy shit. They're like, oh, well, he's hungry, and that's why he's going over there, because he's looking at daddy. That's got to be a white person thing, like referring to yourself as a fur mom or a fur dad. What the fuck? I wasn't, I, yeah, I didn't like that. Um, and the dogs, they ruined everything. Like, it's such just like what you would talk about. They would be like fighting and biting each other and knocking shit over. And I was like, what would we talk about if they weren't here? You know, like we would be having fun. We're not, we're not doing that. Uh, we went on a boat and the dogs were asleep. And I was like, oh wow, they're, they're asleep. That's cool. And my friend says, I gave them all Benadryl. I'm like, holy shit, Shannon, you drugged the dogs? She's like, no, 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 not drugging, uh, discipline. I'm like, uh, I think we have different definitions of discipline. <laughs> Some discipline for you and for you. I'm like, oh, I didn't get any discipline. <laughs> have any more? Jesus Christ, yeah. We, um, we, like, we had a bunch of rafts and we like tied them together and we're in the water and we're having fun. And my raft like slips away from everybody else's. And I was like, oh shit guys, hold on, like you're losing me. And like nobody does anything. They're just kind of like watching it happen. And I'm like, guys, whoa, I'm really, really pulling me out here. Maybe throw like a rope or something. And they're just like letting it happen. I'm like, oh fuck, I have to like survive. So I'm trying to fucking paddle, it's not working. And I'm like, this is the dumbest way to die. I always said I was gonna get hit by a car or something. No, no. Uh, then this guy jumps in the water and he starts like paddling. I hear him behind me going <sighs> And I was like, oh, no, I'm gonna get raped in the water. What a stupid What's up? Hey, an aqua rape. I was afraid. I know he's so worried What's in the bag? You don't have to tell me you don't have to answer that it, Whatever's in the bag is in the bag. Okay, just make sure you give me whatever you want. Okay. Oh My god you're like a fucking Easter bunny of weed. What, are you gonna hide some and then we're gonna find some later? I like a guy that just smile. What a mischievous man. Okay. Well, oh, what'd you get? Pina colada. That's fun. I didn't, really? What's this one? Garlic, ew. Pow Strawberry. Sorry, I can't find I was reading the wrong thing. <laughs> okay. Well, what do you think? Are we having fun? Me too, yeah. Awesome. Cool. How about we how about we keep it going for our host, Jay Freeze? Yeah, okay, some tepid clapping. Alright. Well thanks guys. My name is Lana Epstein. That's that's been my time. You all have been uh, amazing. I never want this to end. Lana Epstein, everybody! She got me right as I was handed a joint. It was torture. That was, that was absolute torture. Um, I can't think of anything worse. Now I'm going to give you guys something really wonderful, the exact opposite of something really terrible. Uh, the next comic coming to the stage is very funny. He's an old friend of mine. Uh, he's not very old, but I've known him a long time. Moved out to L.A. recently. Give it up for Tommy Carolyn. Woo! Oh, what's up, everybody? Let's uh, let's address the look up top. I look like I play air drums to rap music. That's where I'm at in life. Uh, not crazy about it, but I'm living with it. Uh, I did actually just drive here from Los Angeles, which, uh, goddamn, it's a ride. I. Uh, I left a negative Yelp review at every hotel I stayed at, I, I did. A little bit of a care in there. It's just because what's the first thing that they have when you walk into a hotel room? Shampoo, conditioner, and a hair dryer, right? It's like you guys didn't even think a lonely bald guy might stay here tonight? Thanks a lot, Best Western. I'm going to go jump in the tub with this hair dryer now. You guys fucking nailed it. Love you. I, uh, what did you guys think was something uh, men did when you were a kid? Mow the lawn, that's a pretty good one. I thought a thing that men did when I was a kid was shit with the seat up. That's what I thought. 
Because I always heard women complain about the seat being up. So I was just like, oh, men, we shit with the seat up. All right. So that was my litmus test whenever I thought like I was ready for man shit as a kid. I was just like, all right, I think I can fight dad today. Let's go try to shit with that seat up real quick. Fell right into the toilet bowl. I was like, nope, can't fight dad today. That's not how it works. Uh, after I lost my virginity, I was like, all right, I'm a man now. Let's go shit with that seat up. Fell right into the toilet bowl again. I was just like, all right, this is not how this works, I guess. Uh, I did recently find out what makes you a man. It's when you have to get rid of your dead dog. That's uh, what makes you a man. A dog passed away about a month ago. Called my mom, told her. And she goes, oh, does your apartment have like a courtyard where you could bury it? Like, are you out of your fucking mind? I rent. I don't get a burial plot with this shit. Like, what is wrong with you? This doesn't even feel like an elevator situation to me. This feels like I should probably take it down the stairs. Avoid explaining death to an eight-year-old at 8 a.m. Uh, trying to learn how to cook right now. That's fun. Nothing to do with the dead dog. I promise. Uh, no, but uh, I, I wanted to learn how to cook because, like, I'm 30, and I was just like, you know what? I should probably stop throwing salsa on a hot dog and calling it a pork uh, taco. Probably time to stop doing that shit. So uh, I started looking up recipes, and whenever I Google, like, chicken parmesan recipe, it always shits out, like, a family-sized recipe, recipe at first. And I'm just like, come on, Google. You know I looked up how to play solitaire with a real deck of cards last week. I'm not cooking for a full family. This is a me situation. That's a Google search that should probably alert your emergency contact. Just like, hey, this guy Googled how to play single-player card games. Not many uh, people Google much after that. You should probably look into that one. I'm, uh, no, but I, I started looking up all these recipes, and I actually almost went vegan because all the meat recipes were like, yeah, you got to cook this to 165 degrees, otherwise you get E. coli and shit your pants. And I was like, that doesn't sound like fun. Let's, uh, let's switch over to broccoli. So I looked up a broccoli recipe. Uh, I had to look up Broccoli Raw 4-1 because that's what Google makes me do now. And uh, I was just like, it said that I still had to cook it to 165 degrees, otherwise I shit my pants and die. And I was just like, I'll go back to meat. That's easier. Chicken, I cut it open. I, that's pink. I can't eat that yet. Broccoli, no matter what temperature you cook it to, it's green inside. So I was just like, all right, I don't know if this is ready yet. Am I going to cut E. coli? I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm trying to learn Spanish, too, because I live in a Spanishly named city, and uh, it's tough. I was trying to do, like, Duolingo, which is just silly little games that don't work at all. So I told my brother, I was like, hey, man, you should probably, like, learn Spanish with me, and we can converse in it. And I was just like, that's just two dumb gringos who don't know how to fucking speak English trying to... I don't know how to speak English, barely. Uh, but I was just like, that's going to be two dumb white people trying to teach each other Spanish, which is not going to work out. It's going to be no rolled R's, double L's pronounced real hard, just, ugh, God. Uh, I don't know. I'm a, what the fuck was I going on about? I don't know. I'm a dumb person, I am. 30 years old, no idea how to use a comma. Just every five words, every ten words, where do I throw this bad boy? Give me an even rule of thumb, please. I'm fucking barely holding on. Up until I was 18, you guys, I called novels chapter books, which is uh, not what you're supposed to do. I didn't know that. Somebody had to tell me, they were like, you have a driver's license, those are novels now. And I was like, eh. I'll stick to my Captain Underpants, I guess. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I like pictures every now and again. Uh, there's a reason I'm so dumb, though. I dropped out of high school, ran away to Florida, took a Greyhound bus from New York City all the way down to Orlando, Florida, a.k.a. the most effective scared straight program out on the market, you guys. Uh, 24 hours on a bus will make you a better person. I got down to Florida, I wrote the essays I was running away from. It's like, oh, economics, I can do this. That drug dealer told me all about supply and demand on the old Greyhound University. What a great guy. I'm, uh, yeah, th that was such a dumb move on my part. I thought I had it all figured out. I was 18. I was like, I'll, qu I'll quit my job. I won't even quit my job at Kmart. I'll get them to transfer me to Florida. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That'll show them. Work there full time. Make a living. Yeah. Uh, so dumb. So, so dumb. Uh, let's see what else was going on. I'm stupid. Uh, trying to get back into dating. I just had to break up with this girl because we were having creative differences. Like she thought she was creative and I thought she was dumb. Because for our one year anniversary, she gave me a scrapbook, which that seems nice until you start flipping through the pages and you're like, hold up, did you just give me a book of ticket stubs that I paid for this year? This is bullshit. I already threw these things out once. Why are you giving me them again in a book form now? You know I don't read. I, uh, 
It's like, oh, you really are an environmentalist. You cut your carbon footprint in half and doubled mine. Good job. Well, I see what you're doing. Clever. I'm, uh, yeah, but I, where the fuck was I going? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to get back into dating. And it's hard because, like, you can't do a dinner date for a first date because I eat like I've been to prison before. Like, it'd be like, yeah, he was kind of cute, but then he folded a steak in half like it was a slice of pizza. And I, I don't think I can deal with that t level of unstable right now. I've, uh, I've actually never been to prison. I just uh, get mistaken for a cellmate a lot, which is a lot of fun. It's like, Luther, is that you? No, this is Tommy, man. You sure you weren't in that meth lab that blew up underneath that daycare? No, sir, not me. Thought you had less tattoos on your face. Go home. Have a good day, kid. Uh, where the fuck does this have? any of this go? I have no idea. Uh, you guys want to guess what kind of dog I had? Anybody? Close. <laughs> what was your guess? Oh, a lab? No, uh, I had a little Shih Tzu, a little tiny Shih Tzu named Mimi. But I nicknamed her Beans because she was born with two clits, and that's just kind of cute, right? You gotta know your dogs. I don't know if she was. You looked super surprised by that. I, I don't know if dogs have one clit, to be honest with you. It's just part of the joke. I don't know. A little behind the magic, you guys. I, uh, I got a memorial tattoo for my dog, though, because she passed away. Got it done on 9-11 because I thought... Uh, I was nervous. I was like, oh, it's going to be all first responders making fun of my little pussy dog tattoo while they get their beautiful 9-11 tributes. But no, it was just a lady getting a tramp stamp covered with a bigger tramp stamp. And I was like, all right, I can deal with this. She seems cool. But uh, because my dog was such like a pale color, the dog, the tattoo artist, he had to like yellow her up like she has jaundice or something. And uh, so now when I'm looking for a dog, I have to text him a picture and be like, Hey, will this one make a good memorial tattoo? I just want to make sure before I get it. And you got to make another weird-looking dog on my arm. My dad got upset with me for uh, posting a, a Facebook memorial for my dog when I didn't pay, uh, post one for his mom who passed away. And I was just like, Dad, you got to understand something. Facebook knows I had a dog. Like, they assume I have a grandma, I'm sure, but they know I have a dog, so I was constantly getting, like, bark box and Chewy subscription notices. And I was just like, I need to get the ads to stop, so I have to put up this so that the NSA just, oh, he's got a dead dog, let him grieve for a little bit. And it's not how it works. Still have to manually fucking unsubscribe to all the ads. It's bullshit. Now I'm getting do dead dog shirt ads, which is, Jesus Christ. They, they, they can't let you be. They can't. I'm, uh, where was I rambling off to with that one? Who the hell knows at this point, right? Uh, no, I'm not going to do that tonight. I promised myself. <sighs> I don't know. I'm dumb. I shit with the seat up. I try to. Um, God damn. I am floundering. That's what I am doing, you guys. It's, I, I used to be a truck driver. or Well, I was a truck driver's apprentice, which is a lot less exciting. Just uh, a guy who sits in a truck and smokes cigarettes all day while the other guy drives. I, was, I just had a passport, so they were like, yeah, Tommy, you could fucking do this. We're going to Canada. Taking $100 million worth of paintings up. Fucking have at it. I'm like, all right, that sounds fun. I was all nervous. I didn't bring weed with me to Canada, which I should have. It's Canada. I don't even think they care about it up there. I think they have not real crime to deal with, because, like, that's our side of the border. But, I don't know. Uh, let's see. What the fuck else do I talk about? Shit with the seat up. I'm going to keep talking about shitting with the seat up because it's just such a ridiculous image in my mind. I love it. I know I have more material. But I just can't think of it. This is what happens when like, I try to write something. I just, I, I, My brain goes into autopilot. Or not autopilot because that would mean I was functioning properly. Hopefully. I, I don't know what autopilot does. Can it land the plane? I don't think so. Where the fuck are they up there if that's what they're doing? Okay. Let's take a deep breath. What other? Let's see. Break up. Dropped out of school. Promised myself I wouldn't do that. All right. Let, I'll leave you guys with a couple of one-liners. Uh, does anybody know where midgets come from? Anybody? No? 
It's, uh, it's what happens when a parent wishes to a genie that their child doesn't grow up. I think it's fine if we talk about midgets, I do. Because I think they talk shit right under our noses, you guys. Probably. I, uh, I had a high school teacher, he looked exactly like Michael Jackson. He was the king of pop quizzes, everybody. Yeah. All right, thank you guys. Have a great night. Give it up for Jordan. Uh, Weed Man's Joint. Really love this place. Give it up for Tommy Carolyn. Give it up for yourselves. And give it up for all of the amazing comics you saw here tonight. Lana Epstein, Ty Rainey, yourselves. Now you guys get to be the comedians. You guys get to make each other laugh over there in your corner. It's wonderful. You just get to be each other's friends. It's the best part of the night. And you're fucking stoned because they just handed you another joint. You can take that on the road. Oh yeah. It's a beautiful time. It's a beautiful time. But there are some people at home who do not have the privilege of just getting handed a joint. So I have to talk them to sleep because some people wait for that at home. Um, but we're here every first, second, and third Wednesday of the month, hump day. This is Late Night Hump. I'm your host, Jordan Freed. You can follow me at Jay Freeze as our uh, earlier comedian referenced. A couple of people referenced me as Jay Freeze. It's catching on. It's catching on. Uh, three E's in the middle because two E's was already taken. Um, actually, when I went to college, uh, I found out that there was a guy on campus who also went by the nickname Jay Freeze. And, like, I had to, like, whenever I was drunk, I was just like, I'm going to beat the shit out of this Jay Freeze. Like, I'm the real Jay Freeze. Like, there can't be another Jay Freeze up in here. And then fast forward, like, two to three years, and then Jay Freeze was my drug dealer, which was very convenient. Because people would always be like, Jordan, where do you get your weed from? And I'd be like, Jay Freeze. And they'd be like, aren't you Jay Freeze? And I'd be like, yeah. And they'd be like, are you your own drug dealer? And I'd be like, don't worry about it. But now we're here tonight, and you're falling asleep at home. Uh, I hope your lighting of your bong or uh, your edible has finally kicked in. That would have been so sad if you like ate the edible and it didn't kick in the whole comedy show. I feel like we would have to do like a second half of the comedy show for when the edible hits. That's like the extreme, the, uh, the second set. We do like uh, a palindrome and we go with the same exact comics in reverse order. So now you have to see Tommy Carolyn again, and then it goes Lana Epstein, and then Ty Rainey, and then me again. It's just a, a me sandwich with, it's a me club sandwich, uh, the J Freeze club sandwich, except it's grilled, it's not frozen. Uh, it's kind of icy as well, it's fried. Freed spelled like fried, but the, uh, the sandwich is not free. It is fried, so keep that in mind when you're getting the sandwich in your dreams tonight. Don't think I forgot about you. This is for you at home. Uh, you're high as fuck or you're on mushrooms. Damn, my uh, joint went out. That's so sad. Um, but hopefully your uh, joint went out as well, so you could... Uh, how's it going? You're here. You're here at a good time. Wow, we have, like, guests... Maybe we should, we should do a second half. No, we're not going to do a second half. That's, that's a little ridiculous. Um, it would just be the first half for some people. It would be a half of a half. Um, I feel like drugs have gotten me pretty good at math because I never knew how many ounces were in uh, a pound before, before thinking about weed. And I don't even get a pound of weed. I just like... I was just curious in my head. I was just like, how many? How many ounces? I feel like I should know this, you know? Just as like a math guy in the world. Um, isn't that weird that if you're like dreaming right now, you have a math guy in your dream? That's pretty weird. 
Maybe he'll inspire you to uh, solve some kind of equations. Um, or maybe uh, he'll just uh, bring you to, uh, to class and you'll just hang out with your friends in the back and maybe that's what you just needed in your dream was just to hang out with your friends in the back of the class. Uh, you should just go up and take your uh, professor's apple. Uh, unless you're in real life, don't do that. Uh, remember, this is just hypothetical dream world. Just grab your, the professor's apple. Because uh, you need the knowledge. And that's a metaphor for knowledge. Because there are a lot of nutrients in it. Um, and also, apparently, you could melt down like the seeds in that cyanide. I don't know if that's actually real. I don't know if Facebook's going to block me for saying that. Um, we're actually on Instagram, which Facebook owns, because they own me as well. Um, I'm actually sponsored by an algorithm, by you guys being here. Um, I did my trick. Uh, but yeah, this has been really fun, guys. I'm Jordan Freed. We're going to give you guys the big good night. Uh, come back the first, second, and third Wednesday of October. Uh, enjoy your hump days. Until then, thank you guys for coming out. You guys are really beautiful, every single one of you guys. I'm trying to make contact with everyone, but this one lady's head is facing away. I'm making eye contact with her third eye. Yeah. She's hot. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's cool. I got your eyes now. This has been really great. I love you all. Um, late night hump. <laughs>